in 100 division it measures 1 volt so 1 volt in 100 division now explain how the instrument can be used for measuring up to uh, 300 volts so volts per division is actually uh, one division we will have one divided by 100 or 0 0.01 volt so now what we want we want that the uh, full uh, scale uh, of this ammeter should measure 300 volts so from one volt we want to convert it to 300 volts and we are already having its internal resistance so r is 100 ohm so for 300 volts if we divide it by 100 ohm we will get uh, 3 It is 3 ampere so for uh, this uh, structure if we apply 300 volt across it we will have 3 ampere current flowing through it so this is this will definitely damage this circuit so now uh, what we want we want that in 150 divisions it measure uh, this 300 volts so we are having 50 extra divisions in it so for those uh, extra divisions we want to calculate the RSC so how will we calculate this RSC the voltage across the meter producing a full scale deflection is now 150 multiplied by 0 0.01 for one division it is like uh, 0 0.01 also for 150 it will be 1.54 so we want this 1.5 to be across this uh, system so for that 1.5 we are having our resistance as 100 so we can calculate the maximum current that can it bear so 1.5 divided by 100 is the maximum current that it can bear and now this is our IM and our RM is already 100 given this V is given V is what V is 300 the maximum current and this uh, uh, IM is given as 100 1.5 divided by 100 so 1.5 by 100 1.5 by 100 and we got our AC equal to 19.9 kilo ohm so this is uh, what we were solving uh, let's summarize it let's delete all these things let me delete these things as well ok so we have full scale like this and here it is 100 division and here it is 150 division the problem says that the total resistance is 100 and on 100 divisions it measures 1 volt so for 1 division it measures 0 0.01 volt for 150 division it measures 1.5 volt so now we can calculate the amount of current that will be required for making this much deflection on the needle so i is equal to v by r which is 1.5 divided by 100 which is uh, uh, let's uh, 1 to 0 0.015 which is 15 milli amperes so 15 milli ampere is our i m the current that this uh, system can bear the maximum current of galvanometer so now we are having this situation that we want to convert it to 300 volt based ammeter so 300 minus im rm divided by im would be our rsc so rsc put the value of im rm and im again and you get 19.9 kilo ohm so this is the 
सोल्यूशन आय होप यू हॅव अंडरस्टूड इट नाव ओके इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट अ गिलवानोमीटर टू टू डिफरंट थिंग अ वर्ल्ड मीटर एन अन एम मीटर अ वर्ल्ड मीटर दॅट कॅन मेजर फिफ्टी वर्ल्ड एन अन एम मीटर दॅट कॅन मेजर टेन एम पेअर सो वी आर हॅविंग दिस फॉर्मुला दॅट आर एस सी इज इक्वल टू एम मायनस वन एन टू आर एम एन एम इज इक्वल टू वी बाय वी एम वी इज फिफ्टी हेअर बिकॉज यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट टू फिफ्टी एन वी एम इज टेन मिली वॉल्ड सो आर एम इज कॅल्क्युलेटेड एज फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाय टेन मिली वॉल्ड ओके एंड आर एम इज गिवन फॉर दिस वर्ल्ड मीटर सो आर एम इज ऑल्सो गिवन सो आर एस इज कॅल्क्युलेटेड बाय फिफ्टी डिवाइड बाय टेन टेन पॉवर मायनस थ्री मायनस वन मल्टीप्लाय बाय दिस फाय फोर हम सो दिस टर्न्स आउट टू बी दिस नाव यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वर्ट इट टू अन एम मीटर दॅट कॅन कॅल्क्युलेट टेन एम पेअर सो वी हॅड दिस टेन मिली वर्ल्ड एज वी एम वी डू नॉट हॅव आय एम सो फॉर दिस बीग पार्ट वी विल फर्स्ट कॅल्क्युलेट आय एम सो आय एम इज इक्वल टू वी एम डिवायडेड बाय आर वी एम इज वॉट टेन मिली डिवायडेड बाय आर आर इज फायव्ह सो आय एम टर्न्स आउट टू बी टू मिली एम पेअर नाव वी कॅन यूज दिस फॉर्मुला आर एस इज इक्वल टू आर एम आर एम इज फाय फॉर हम and m is uh, i divided by i m for m meter so i is this 10 which will be uh, the final uh, full scale voltage and i m is the initial full scale voltage so initial was calculated to be 2 and the final is given for the problem as 10 so 10 by 2 10 power minus 5 so rs is calculated by this rm divided by m minus 1 so this turns out to be 1 into 10 power minus 3 ohm so if we introduce such shunt with it this will then be used for uh, calculating this uh, 10 ampere in these 10 amperes what will happen 2 milli ampere will flow through this uh, a meter at full scale deflection and the remaining 10 minus 2 milliampere will flow through this so this will not burn for up to 10 ampere if this uh, the uh, current goes to 11 ampere it will definitely burn it. so this mechanism is for 10 ampere uh, this is another example uh, in this example it is uh, stated there as uh, our pmmc is having resistance of 75 ohm so 75 ohm is the given resistance for a full scale of 100 division and current on the full scale is 1 milliampere so 1 milliampere is the maximum bearing current at this branch okay uh, the combination is then connected to a series load uh, what is the current in the load when the instrument uh, when the instrument gives an indication of 80 milliampere so we are having this rsh and we are being told that if these are 100 divisions then at 80 uh, divisions that is given for this uh, at this point what is the current that is flowing through this so for that one must uh, calculate the per division uh, current and then multiply it by 80 so 80 division is the covered area and current uh, through this one division is calculated now so we are given with this 25 ohm resistance which is connected in parallel with it so the total uh, current is now 0.8 milliamps that is passing through this uh, this uh, voltmeter uh, this uh, galvanometer branch so let's use the volt uh, current dividend rule to calculate the to- current the total current that is going inside this circuit so this current is 0.8 
this is unknown and this is to be calculated but the, these are sh and all the stuff are known so we can say that branch current ib is equal to the resistance in which it is not flowing divided by resistance in which it is flowing plus not flowing multiplied by the total current this branch current is 0 0.8 the not flowing side is 25 milliampere current in which it is not flowing so here it is not flowing so 25 divided by flowing plus not flowing so flowing resistance is 75 plus 25 so this turns out to be 100 so this is 25 divided by 100 multiplied by i is equal to 0 0.8 so i turns out to be 3.2 milliampere so this i that is going inside it is 2.3.2 milliampere which is the same current as the load is being uh, the load is using so this was an interesting example in which we used the current dividend rule for calculating this total current uh, pmmc to ohm meter conversion uh, this is uh, a very interesting topic uh, in this topic this mechanism starts behaving in reverse first of all we should understand that in the previous m meter and volt meter we already had current or voltage so these are the form of energy now if we connect any resistance with it we do not have any energy so without a cell this mechanism will not work also if this resistance is open so it should give us uh, infinity resistance so we mark this circuit this side as infinity and if this circuit is closed so it should give us zero resistance so this maximum scale is given as uh, zero so when we do not connect any resistance with it and do not short circuit the terminal of an ohm meter it will show us infinity ohm resistance at zero degrees so this is obvious okay we install a battery here and after that we install a resistance here and make this resistance equal to this resistance so if this resistance is equal to this resistance what will happen the voltage will equally divide in these two things and thus the current deflection will become half so we can say that let's say this is 10 ohm and this is 10 ohm so at half we say that this is 10 ohm this side is infinity and this side is zero so now between zero and ten we can graduate it as well so this is the mechanism uh, further you can study uh, this uh, topic in this uh, in this link uh, so uh, this is the general mechanism of conversion okay let's move towards the next topic the electrodynamometer type instrument uh, before uh, these uh, this topic we all we studied all uh, mechanism that were having a static field of magnetism and we were having DC values so for DC the direction do not change now what if this thing is an AC so in that case the direction of this uh, PMMC would be same PMM would be same and this coil would uh, change with respect to time so this will not let this needle to move in either direction so for that we use these uh, uh, magnets as coils and uses the same energy which we are uh, using for the excitation of the coil so if this energy in this direction this will produce this field if this in the, uh, energy is in this direction this will also produce uh, opposite field so opposite multiply by opposite negative multiply by negative would also will uh, uh, give us a positive direction so in both cases we would have a same direction in the PMMC type if the direction changes so one remains uh, constant and other remains changed so the direction reverses but in uh, EDD uh, EDM we are having minus minus both so this gives us the same direction so this is the theory of electrodynamometer which is used for both DC and AC so PMMMC PMMC is used for uh, DC 
uh, EDM is used for both AC plus DC. So remember these things. Okay, this is it. This is um, the end of this chapter. I hope you people have got an, uh, got an idea of how electrodynamometer type instrument and uh, electromechanical instrument works. Okay, thank you. Thanks for listening.